Hi everyone, welcome to Med Sketch. The toxin of the day is lead. For ease, we have named the scene as Plumber Ladder Mansion. Actually, the chronic poisoning of lead is known as plumbism. So you can remember plumber and plumbism. And ladder can be remembered for lead poisoning. So let's talk about the category of lead. So on the right side of the scene, you can see a boy that has painted aliens and a poster on right side of the scene and above the poster you can see a sign that is representing the category of lead that is irritant so lead belongs to the category of metallic irritants so let's talk about the fatal period of lead so you can see a house plate on the floor that says mr ed taylor and miss bell 23d so that is probably the address of the mansion so the fatal period of lead is 2 to 3 days as 23 days so just remember 2 to 3 days the fatal dose is represented by a coin just beside the home plate that says 0.5 rupees or 0.5 cents so the fatal dose of lead is 0.5 grams so let's talk about the mechanism of action so on the right side of the scene you can see a boy is painting two aliens and has also painted a poster that is having some rules so the rule says number one no selfie number two no ham and the green alien is taking a selfie as you can see the head of the green alien is a bit big and is having a bandage so let's talk about the mechanism of action no selfie means that inhibition of self hydral group no selfie no self hydral group so there is inhibition of enzymes by combining self hydral groups so the second rule is no ham so it is implicating inhibition of heme synthesis and it causes nephritis and sterility so the yellow alien on the right side just looks like a neuron so deposit in the cns destroys the myelin sheath and also causes cerebral edema as represented by big head of the green alien so let's talk about the sign and symptoms of acute poisoning so you can see on the left side of scene a yellow painter is painting the wall yellow and a small portion is left that says i love metals that is representing metallic taste in case of acute poisoning also you can see there is a black stool on the ground that is representing that the feces are offensive and black owing to the formation of lead sulfide and the urine is also suppressed also you can see on the right leg of the painter there is some yellow colored paint that is present in the form of dot so it represents cramps in the legs and the phenomenon of arthralgia another very important symptom is represented by a boy who is not very happy with the renovation scene he is holding his head his eyes are closed and you can see some ghost figures on top of him so he is representing the phenomena of lead encephalopathy and it is more commonly in tetraethyl lead poisoning and it is characterized by headache as he is holding his head sleeplessness tremors of eyes mouth and fingers sometimes paralysis loss of vision as he is closing his eyes hallucination as you can see the figures above the head and this is a very important feature that you need to remember let's talk about the chronic lead poisoning that is also known as plumbism as our scene was based on plumber so you can see another painter that is falling from the ladder both his arms and legs are extended so they are representing a very important phenomena that is wrist drop and foot drop due to the muscle atrophy and nerve degeneration that is known as lead palsy also the background paint is yellow that is representing facial pallor due to local vasospasm just on the ground beside the ladder you can see a floating tube with a ball in the center that is representing a very important phenomena that is of stippling of rbcs so the rbcs are having bluish spot in the cytoplasm due to the metabolism inhibition by lead so you can see a floating tube that is having bluish dots so the patient has anemia with punctate basophilia in case of chronic lead poisoning also lead encephalopathy is a common feature of chronic 
and acute poisoning so just remember that it is also present in the chronic poisoning on the floor you can see bluish lines in between the lines there is a gum so it is also representing a very important phenomenon that is known as the presence of bertonian lines so bertonian lines are blackish and bluish stain formed at the junction of teeth and gums due to the formation of lead sulfide so you can see uh, lines bertonian lines that are on the gums so we have placed the gums between the border lines so you can remember that bertonian lines are present on the junction of teeth and gums so let's talk about the post-mortem appearance we have already talked about it earlier so the basic difference is the gastroenteritis with the congested gut mucosa and the large intestine may contain black colored feces as we have displayed with the black stool black lines on gums or bertonian lines can be present and hyperplosia of uh, erythroblast can be present so let's talk about the medical legal importance so let's talk about the medical legal importance of lead poisoning the whole theme represents the medical legal importance as you can see that uh, children are present and the background of paint so basically it is rarely used for homicidal purposes so the poisoning occurs in children from eating paints on cribs and beds so you can see on the right side of the scene the child that painted the aliens has paint on his face that is representing the ingestion of paint on cribs and beds also caused by contamination of food or drinks another medical legal importance can be gunshot injury but the main one is pain based so let's talk about the treatment so treatment for acute and chronic poisoning is a bit different so let's talk about the acute poisoning treatment first so let's get to our first painter so you can see the place where the painter is painting the wall you can see our classic gastric lavage bottle the bottle is having sign of m and n that represents the stomach lavage with magnesium and sodium sulfate also you can see our opium plant and pine cone that are representing morphine and atropine and that help to relieve the painful colic also you can see calcium tablets so administration of calcium salts and vitamin d is also indicated so uh, stomach lavage morphine and atropine calcium salts and vitamin d along with the supported treatment so let's talk about the chronic treatment so you can see the house plate that says mr ed taylor and miss bell and along the house plate you can see a pencil so mr ed taylor is representing edta and miss bell is representing bal so both of them are used as antidote in lead poisoning also you can see pencil so long-term control of plumbism will be achieved by oral administration of penicillinamine daily also we can give symptomatic treatment as well so here was our video of lead it was a bit lengthy and complicated but just remember the important diagnostic points include stippling of rbc's bertonian line on gums and teeth lead encephalopathy so the question will be based on these mainly so if you have any question just drop in the comment section till then take care for detailed literature of toxins refer our textbook excel forensic medicine and toxicology available at all major medical bookstore all over pakistan